LLCs when investing in real estate. Do you want them? Do you need them? Why? Why not? That's today's topic of discussion in the Ask James Wise series. Let's dive in. A lot of real estate investors have been sending me several questions or variations of questions all revolving around the core question of should I get an LLC when I buy my rental property? Why? Why not? The answer to that question is it depends. It depends on you. It depends on the property. It depends on how you want to pay for the property. It depends on a specific set of circumstances surrounding you buying that property. For example, Let's say you're a single family home investor. You're out there looking to purchase your first real estate investment. You want to buy a single family home or even a multifamily property that has four units or less. You plan on purchasing this property using residential financing. In your situation, an LLC doesn't make any sense. The reason for this is simple. The bank isn't going to write a loan to your LLC. Banks only write residential loans to people. So if you're planning on utilizing residential financing, which I absolutely think you should, 30-year financing is the best type of financing you can get. That is the number one reason you should be investing in real estate. So if you're planning on using those types of loans, you need to purchase the properties in your own name. So in that particular set of circumstances, you should not try to get an LLC because you cannot obtain your financing. Any other pro from that LLC is not going to outweigh the major con, which is your lack of ability to finance the acquisition of the rental investment. Now I said the pros in that situation weren't going to outweigh the cons of not being able to get financed. What were the pros in that specific situation? Well, one, there's liability protection. And that is the first thing that people always talk about when they tell people you need to get LLCs. You need liability protection. Theoretically, the corporation is its own entity and you as the owner of the corporation are going to be shielded from problems that arise from that company. So the thought process is, I'm a real estate investor, I purchased a rental property, I need to put it in an LLC so if one of my tenants falls down and injures themselves, they can't sue me personally. They need to sue my company. I won't risk losing my own personal assets. I need to separate those out. All of that is true, and that is the theory behind getting an LLC. But you see, we have a term. It's called piercing the corporate veil. What a lot of investors fail to realize is you can very easily pierce the corporate veil in certain situations. Like in this situation, a single member LLC. If your name is John Smith and you create John Smith LLC and you're acting as the property manager, you're the only one in control of this LLC, it's very clear that you are the guy controlling everything. So in the event that there is a major issue and that company, that LLC that you've created, faces a lawsuit, they can very easily pierce that veil and come after you personally. So that very slight amount of liability protection is not going to offset the benefits of going out there and getting that residential financing and allowing yourself to build a much bigger portfolio. So. If you're in that situation, what should you do to protect yourself? The best thing you can do to protect yourself in this situation is simply get a quality insurance policy. You want to make sure you're covered. In the event that the tenants injure themselves, make sure you have $300,000, $500,000, even a million dollars of protection in that situation. Doing it that way should give you the best of both worlds. You're covered against any liabilities, but you're also able to utilize financing and grow your portfolio. Now, same situation, same investor. Let's say you want to purchase the same property, but you plan on paying cash and you don't intend to use residential financing. In that situation, yes, I think you should go ahead and create an LLC. Now, as I've just discussed, I don't think it's going to be that much extra liability protection 
but there's really no cons because you're not trying to get the financing and the cost to actually get an LLC is very minimal. What we've got on the screen here is every single state in the United States. This is the cost to file an LLC as well as the cost to renew that LLC annually. If you go to Ohio, which is where I'm from, the cost is minimal. It's $99 to file an LLC and then there is zero annual fee thereafter. So if you're in Ohio, you're trying to purchase one of these properties and you don't want to use financing, there is literally almost no con to getting an LLC. $100 one time. Absolutely in that situation, it makes sense to get an LLC. What if you're an investor out there in California? The cost to create an LLC in California is $70 and you have to pay an additional $820 every single year to keep that LLC active. Now that's a little something to think about. Is that $820 a year cost worth the minimum amount of liability protection? That's something you should ask yourself or talk to an attorney or a CPA to get their thoughts on that. Now let me throw another curveball at you. Let's say you're that California investor, but the property that you're thinking about purchasing isn't actually a house in California. Let's say that that house is out there in Ohio where the LLC filing fee is dramatically cheaper. What you'd probably want to do in that situation is you'd want to go ahead and file what's called a foreign entity LLC. What you'd want to do is as a California resident, instead of filing for a California-based LLC, you'd want to go ahead and just file an Ohio-based LLC. That way, you get to pay $99 one time and you're all set, as opposed to paying $820 every single year to renew your California-based LLC. What about apartment buildings or commercial assets of any kind? What if you're trying to purchase those? Does an LLC make sense in those situations? Yes, I think an LLC absolutely makes sense in any type of commercial investment. Whenever I buy an apartment building of any kind, I always utilize an LLC. The financing, when we're talking in the commercial space, they want to lend to businesses. They want to lend to entities. So you don't have that roadblock of not being able to get financing in your way. So in that situation, there are almost zero pros to purchasing a commercial investment in your own personal name. So you should always, always, always get an LLC anytime you buy an apartment building or anything related to commercial real estate investments. Another time that LLCs make a ton of sense is when you're purchasing real estate in partnerships. Say you and three or four other investors decided to get together and purchase a rental property. In that situation, what you'd want to do is create an LLC which covers everyone's specific interests, specific ownership stake in that company. It's all easily laid out in your operating agreement. Plus, on top of that, piercing that corporate veil is going to be very difficult because you're just one minority member in a company that maybe has three, four, five, six other members. So when that specific company has a liability, you cannot be personally held accountable for all of it. Well, I hope this answers some of your questions about LLCs and when they make sense in the real estate space and when they don't make sense in the real estate space. For the rest of you that have questions, please check out the other Ask James Wise videos. I try to answer any and all real estate related questions. If after going through that you don't see the question you have, simply post it to the comments of this video or any of the other videos and we'll make a video just like this one answering your specific question. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. 
As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.